took out these load bearing walls and we have a VersaLam 6x12, 14 feet long. So we really cleared out this whole wall here, opened up the space. And we took out this other wall over here and we had to support the roof. You can see I got supports going all the way up to the roof and then the ceiling over here. And you can see all there is is a light and one ceiling joist left. Just doing a little walk through like this, you can really see how open this is now. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna open up this whole entry. All these walls are coming out. This wall right here, coming along here, is coming out, going across, over to here. This, this is coming out, this closet, this entire wall going to the kitchen all the way to here. Now we have to support the ceiling, the roof, and the ceiling at the same time because these are bearing walls. The load of the roof, the load of the ceiling joists, everything is on this wall. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this open. I wanna get a six by six post right here. And this is where the end of the beam will start and then these walls will come out. We'll put another six by six right here. So first thing what I wanna do is support the ceiling all the way through. We're gonna put a um, temporary wall here. All right, folks, let's take a look what we got so far. So I cut the floor open where I can put the new posts all the way down to new foundations under the crawl space. Just to recap, this wall is coming out this wall over here is coming out. You can see it's all cleared out all the way to the, through the attic. We added braces to support the roof. Every like 16 inches, there's a support to the roof. And then we have a, a wall on both sides, 16 inches on center, supporting the roof load and the ceiling. And I cut a straight line here, so my, when my new beam comp goes in, it's gonna go right up against here, and we'll put hangers on those two by sixes. Six by six posts are in. Look down here, we're gonna put um, two hold down bolts onto these new footings I poured. The two, I think they're HTT5s. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna to attempt to set this beam alone. I have it cut. This is gonna slide right up into here. Six by 12 by 14 feet. And I'm gonna set this all by myself. All right, folks, we got this beam in. Take a look at this. Six by 12, 14 foot long. Got it in all by myself. No help at all. That is pretty amazing. Look at how nicely it fits right up there in the roof line. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to add some, some vertical supports from the roof down to the top of the beam. So all the weight of the roof is going to be um, supported on top of this 6x12 VersaLam. This side I got to add, um, sister it up and add extensions because I needed that much room in order to get that beam in. So we'll extend that, that over, put hangers on, two by fours, and then this room will be completed. All right, guys, we're putting in another beam right now. We took out these bearing, load bearing walls, and we have a VersaLam, six by 12, 14 feet long. So we really cleared out this whole wall here opened up the space and we took out this other wall over here and we had to support the roof you can see i got supports going all the way up to the roof and then the ceiling over here and you can see all there is is a light and one ceiling joist left that way left standing one ceiling joist here 
and you can see up here we braced up to the roof temporarily so this doesn't drop so this is all clear we're, we're ready to put a, another 6x12 and we'll put a hanger right over here and then a post coming down to here the footing is already poured down here with two hold down anchor bolts for two hold downs. All right, guys, we got all these walls supported. You can see two by fours braced up this ceiling joist here. This one is supporting the roof. You can see I cut it at an angle, braced down to a two by four here. Same thing here. I had to angle this one so the door could open. Connected up there. This is the old joist, only ceiling joist that's still remaining is hooked up to the light. So I didn't want to remove that yet because electricians are on their way. Here I doubled up some two by fours, cut them at an angle to fit, holding up the ridge and the um, rafters. Another one here you can see holding up the rafter, put a screw into there. Everything's screwed together connected at the bottom. These are kind of angled um, opposite directions. So all we have to do now is put a post in, set our beam, and then piece it all back together. Over here, you can see this is what the final result looks like right here. Got some electrical to fix, had to cut through electrical because it, the beam wasn't gonna go in. So that's gotta be fixed. Um, need one more hanger right here. But so far it's looking really good. All right, folks, we just got our post in here. Got it all blocked out. Down here to our footing with the hold downs. Okay, our post is cut at the right height. Next is to cut our beam from here over to here, get a measurement. And I have a hanger I'm putting on right now. Wow, those things are really strong. Okay, I got 10 or 12 more to put in. This is gonna be super strong. Versa lamb and then another Versa lamb coming in here, teeing into this. So I'm moving this huge beam without any effort. Okay, I'm gonna just push, guide it over there. Okay, we still got a lot of stuff in the way. A couple more feet. All right. No helpers. The ninja is gonna do it all by himself. Okay, we got a little bevel here. That way it, it'll, the roof line will just come right to here. Okay, so over here I have four three and a half inch screws screwed into this. Then we can do another brace about here, lift it up to here. I did a slight angle, so if it does slide, it's never gonna slide off. Now I have to lift this up to this level. Oh yeah, oh yeah, one hand. I'll probably put a safety up now. So you want to add safety. So if this ever drops, it's not going to fall to the ground. It's hanging on by one inch right now on that hanger. So I have to slide it in. But I have the support here in case it does fall. I'm going to slide it. You can see I put an angle brace. So if I can push here, uh, that's going to be tough. So we need to push that and slide it in. All right, folks, check this out. Just got through adding some three quarter inch plywood around the post. So getting it back down to the subfloor, glued and screwed. Let me show you. Polyurethane, polyurethane glue. I even glued along the edges of the plywood. So we're gonna go ahead and drop this in. So you gotta do it in two pieces. Drop it in like that. Go ahead and drop this in. 
Okay, we got this one, this one, and one more over there to finish off. The drywall guys just came in here a few days ago and they've made a lot of progress, it looks like. Let's walk around and take a look. Up there, that's where the beam was, and then the six by six going down here. They got the bull nose corner. This room is just so much more opened up and a lot better feel having all the kitchen and this dining area and then this living room. More bull nosed corners here. Again, this is where a post, a six by six post is. One here, another six by six here, and that's going all the way down into concrete foundation footings. So just doing a little walk through like this, you can really see. All right, guys, take a look at this. Okay, this kitchen is really coming together. We got cabinets here. Drywall and painting is getting completed. This whole room has been opened up. It's really coming together. Um, right where this post is right here, there's a beam up here. This is where the load bearing wall used to be. So we put a cabinet right next to it, which looks really nice. So that fills in that little void. Yeah, this is really opened up. So much more now, all the way through into the living room. All the lighting in the ceiling looks good. Look how nice this transition looks where I put the beam in. Perfectly flush, perfectly flush here. You cannot even see any sign of any construction. Okay guys, take a look at this window opening. 12 foot wide window opening, looking out at the ocean. Wow, this is incredible. Surf and waves right out here. What a view. What a view. 